And now, ladies and gentlemen, Acme This Week brings you the Acme News with your news anchor. He wrote the words to Dallas, Travis Oaks. <laughs> Authorities are looking into a few reported deaths 
to see if there is evidence of repeated Botox use with possible charges in mind. The funeral of one of the potential victims, 96-year-old Clementine Hutchins, was held earlier today. <laughs>
You have to watch the show. <laughs> uh, can I ask one last question, Jorge? Sure, shoot, dude. Sure, anything. <laughs> Do the creators and writers even know where they're going with the show? Because I've watched it and I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, they know exactly where they're going. They kind of have an idea of, they have no fuck, fuck it. <laughs> you have to watch the show. All right, thank you, Jorge. Jorge Garcia, everyone. Jorge. It's teleporting. <laughs> and finally, the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle auctioned off two paintings on eBay this weekend. They were created by an orangutan named Tawit. The two paintings, orangutan in red, which sold for $720, and orangutan in yellow, which sold for $612 and looks remarkably like an engorged orangutan penis, were so successful that the zoo are now encouraging all of their animals to take on artistic endeavors. Some successfully, ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> and others not so much. <laughs> If you think if no one would buy that, though, you'd be sadly mistaken. Well, I'm Travis Oates. That's all the news that's been to make fun of this week. Thank you very much.